So today is the 6th of March 2013 and today I just finished working on a little project uh, that I've been you know, working on a little bit at a time for a while. Um, it's a project on my bike and now that it's complete I just want to give a little video tour of it just kind of showing a first look at it. So this project is something that I did on my relatively new uh, Rally Sport commuting bike and what it is is it's this rear light which I've added to it and basically the way this project came about was um, about three years ago, in early 2010, um, I was, you know, riding my bike down the road one day, and I found this piece of plastic here, uh, which was like the uh, like the little plastic cover that goes um, on a car, and it's used like for the the third uh, the third high mounted brake light um, for a car. And uh, I happened to notice that it was like almost exactly the same length as a milk crate is. And I thought, hey, that would be really neat if I could mount it, you know, along the, the edge of the milk crate there, and then I could use it like as a rear light. And uh, it's kind of I just kind of held on to this piece of plastic uh, for all that time, and I just kind of got around uh, to finally finishing that project. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So when I found this thing, all it was was the piece of plastic. It didn't have any any lights, any LEDs or anything inside. Uh, so I actually had to make all of those myself. I, I bought the LEDs. And behind there, I have a little strip of MDF, uh, which has all of the LEDs mounted in it. That's what helps them, you know, be spaced correctly in there. And then I've got this piece of plastic mounted inside of this piece of oak, a piece of wood, where I, I chiseled out the shape of, um, you know, this piece of plastic. And then I've got it in there, and I've got it held in there with, you know, the kind of silicone that you use um, for, like, a bathtub or a shower or something. And the idea is I don't want any water to get inside of here. So I've got this thing, uh, you know, nicely sealed. I have it, you know, painted with, uh, with trem clad. And hopefully no water is going to get inside of there and corrode any of my, my leads for my LEDs or anything like that. So behind that, the two wires come out of the back of the piece of wood there. And then they go into this uh, plastic container here, which is actually called a conduit body. And it's something that's used, uh, like, for electrical junction boxes. Um, but um, what I've done is I've just I've capped off all of the ends and I just drilled a few holes in the caps for the wires uh, to come in and out. Um, so all I've got inside there is my battery pack and I've also got inside there a little circuit board which is what allows me uh, to get my flashing mechanism. I did actually try and uh, create a flashing circuit using uh, transistors and capacitors and resistors um, but I was unsuccessful with the parts that I had. They didn't, they didn't work the way that I was expecting them to. Uh, so I ended up just using that circuit board because it, it seemed to work fine. Um, and then I've got these wires come out of here and they're, they're all tucked away in there. And then down here I've got my switch which I use to turn it on. All it is is it's an on off switch. So when I turn this switch on it goes directly to flashing and when I turn it off it goes directly to off. There's no solid on or any other kind of patterns. Having it set up so that the switch worked that way was actually one of the constraints of my design. Um, the way that a lot of other uh, rear lights on bikes work is they just have a momentary switch and when you press them there's a whole bunch of different functions that they have. Uh, where in a lot of cases really all you care about, or at least all I ever care about for a rear light, is just that it flashes. I don't care about it being on, I don't care about all those other flashing patterns that it has. For example, this light that I have here on my other commuting bike, it's got a little switch on the back here. I press it once, and it's on. Okay, I press it again. Okay, it's blinking, that's what I want. Press it again. Now it's slow blinking. Well, I don't think I'm ever going to want to use that when I'm biking. Why would I want that? You know, the, the drivers aren't even going to be able to barely see it. I press it again. Now it's, you know, jumping between a whole bunch of different lights. Well, who really cares about that? Now it's doing kind of the same thing again. And now it's alternating all over the place. And now it's off. So for me to turn this thing on and off, I have to press that momentary switch, you know, about eight times or something, which is kind of a nuisance. With my system, it's so much more simple. All I've got to do is just press the switch and it's on and then flick the switch back to turn it back off again. And I can even reach this switch when I'm sitting here on my seat, just reach my left hand back onto here. And I can feel the position of the switch, being that it's you know not just a momentary switch, I can feel uh, like when it's pressing, when it's, when it's sloping a certain way, I, I know when it's on and when it's off. So if I start riding in the street and I think, uh oh, did I remember to turn on my light? All I've got to do is just reach down there and feel the switch and feel if it's in the right position uh, to know if it's working or not. Now I wanted to make sure that I mounted this in such a way that it could be easily 
you know, taken off and removed. And if I happen to, you know, move this milk crate to another bike, I can still do that. And uh, just so it would be versatile so I could move it around from, from bike to bike. Uh, so the way it mounts there is it's just got, uh, there's, there's two bolts which hold in uh, the, uh, the junction box there. And then two bolts which hold in uh, the actual wooden piece on the back where the light's connected to. And then I've just got these three metal plates here which I have spray painted uh, to protect them uh, using orange trim clad. And what they're basically doing is they're just kind of spreading out the force and basically allowing me, you know, to clamp those bolts down um, onto the milk crate so that everything's, you know, fastened there uh, really tightly. And then my switch just happened to fit really nicely inside one of these triangular uh, holes here. And it basically just, just sits in there really nicely. And then I just add a little bit of hot glue just to kind of, you know, fill in a little bit of the gaps to prevent it. Um, you know for moving around at all and also to cover up the contact surfaces here um, in case I'm ever you know carrying some kind of a load up here which is conductive um, and it's gonna you know short out that switch and it's gonna turn my light on uh, when I'm not you know when I don't need it so during the day for example I've mounted everything in here in such a way that is really not going to affect you know the cargo that I put in here you know these these nuts they, they barely you know extend at all from the top of the uh, the milk crate surface there so I should be able to you know fit everything in the way that I always have. So now that I've got this project done I'm really looking forward to uh, taking it out tonight in the dark and and seeing how visible it is and trying it out on the road and, and seeing how it works. Um, I, I think it's gonna work pretty well. I've, I've had a lot of fun working on this product. It's something you know that I've kind of been working on for, for quite a while and I've just been you know thinking about it lots making sure that I do it exactly the way that I want to do it. I'm, I'm really happy with with how it's turned out. Uh, to be honest, in terms of cost, you know, it's cost a lot more than uh, any bike light I've ever put on a bike uh, before. But you know, this product isn't so much about was was never really about saving money. Um, it was just about you know having a a neat customized light for a bike, and uh, it's, it's really been fun uh, doing it. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing a little overview of my uh, my new bike light. Thanks for watching. That's a very visible light.